Business Today is brought to you by Shouldn't banking start with you? After all, it's your life and we're just one part of it. So no matter what life throws at you, at Scotiabank, we guide you through it with people who actually listen and with services that enable what matters most to you. Because at Scotiabank, it starts with you. This is Business Today, I'm Marlon Madden. Workers in the tourism and hospitality sector appear to be losing their passion. So says newly elected chairman of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, BHTA, Stephen Austin. Delivering his maiden speech at the BHTA's annual general meeting on Wednesday, Austin told a packed Lloyd Erskine Sadiford Centre he feared a level of lethargy was now taking over. He therefore called on leaders in the sector to help bring about a needed change through improved communication with and treatment of their employees. Austin said this was important since the sector's continued success was highly dependent on the workers. It is therefore incumbent on us to pay critical attention to this aspect. Employee would say to the employer relations in the tourism sector are an unusual relationship. Why? Share your bad news with your accountant. Tell me what you're going to get. Share your bad news with your frontline staff and TripAdvisor will know. We, all of us here, must therefore be the custodians and instead, and indeed, the, the catalyst for the change that we will require to rekindle the Barbados passion. So how do we start? It starts with us. It starts with me. It starts with you. We have to rebuild. And we can only do that through following our passion and love for our little island Barbados. Telecommunications company Flow has welcomed the government's announcement of a planned Smart Barbados initiative. During her June 11 mini-budget presentation, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance and Investment Mia Motley announced that her administration will be investing $2 million into making Bridgetown a smart city. Though not providing details of the plan, Motley said a large part of that initiative would include investment in a free Wi-Fi scheme. Addressing the annual general meeting of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Managing Director of Flow Barbados, Jensen Sylvester, said Flow is keen on working with the government to achieve its objectives. I would like to assure the government that Cable and Wireless already has the infrastructure in place and we stand ready to work with all stakeholders to see that these projects become a reality in the shortest possible time frame. He said Flo was also committed to continuing its support to the hospitality sector. In fact, he said the company has long been laying the foundation for the kind of service the sector requires and the company will continue to provide the products and services required as visitors' demands continue to evolve. In short, they yearn to be connected anytime, anywhere and from any device. This is why CNW Business has been laying the foundation for a fully connected environment and today, we are happy to be a partner of choice for most large financial institutions, multinational corporations, and of course, leading hotels in the region. We have made a commitment and continue to focus our efforts on the hospitality sector. Most recently, we established dedicated account management teams and we have launched several hospitality-specific products and services including comprehensive and customizable Wi-Fi solutions that include indoor and outdoor access points, location-based analytics, and Wi-Fi security options. Corporate taxpayers now have until June 30 to file their taxes. The Barbados Revenue Authority, BRA, announced the extension on Tuesday while urging business owners and tax agents to register in the BRA's new online integrated tax system to meet their tax payment obligation dates. Revenue Commissioner Margaret Sivers said while filing dates have been changed from June 15 to June 30th, the payments of taxes is still due on June 15 and 21st for corporate and value-added tax VAT, respectively. Now for today's financial tip. If you're accessing your bank account on a public computer, make sure to log out completely from your account and never choose to save your username or password. 
That's been Business Today. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadastay.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Mahatma.